I'm Robin Higgins, and this is the importance of enthalpy. All right, so just a reminder, enthalpy is the amount of heat given off or absorbed by a system at constant pressure. And so the equation we use to represent this is H equals U plus P times V. And so H is how we represent enthalpy in equations. E is already taken up by a bunch of other stuff. U is internal energy. And P and V are just pressure and volume, respectively. All right, and so let's think of a typical reaction so we can kind of think about why enthalpy will be important. Well, what about if we just have a match and light it on fire? My little flames very scientifically accurate. All right, so in this reaction, what we're doing is burning wood, and we know from just lighting a match and feeling it that it's going to be hot. And so if we draw a little graph of the heat in this reaction, it's basically going to be looking like this. And so this is the amount of heat at the beginning of the reaction and at the end, it's down here. And it may seem kind of uh, counterintuitive because you feel that it's hot, but you have to remember in reality, that match has actually lost a lot of energy. It gave off all of its energy as heat. And so this is called an exothermic reaction. So exothermic means that it starts with a certain amount of heat, and at the end, that amount is lower. Uh, now, the other type of reaction is called endothermic. And as you can guess, it's pretty much just the opposite of exothermic. So, endothermic, let's say that we start with a system with a certain amount of heat, and then at the end, it has a lot more. So, an example of this in everyday life is boiling water. To get liquid water to boil, let's say this is our liquid water, we have to put a lot of heat into it, so it becomes steam. And so this process of raising the heat from here to here would be our kettle or however we're heating that water. And so at the end, the system, the water, has a lot more energy or heat than it started with. So. Exothermic and endothermic reactions both happen in chemistry and everyday life, and it's really important to know what's going to happen so you can ha know how to act. For instance, uh, burning gasoline in your car is exothermic. It releases a lot of heat, which means we have to design cars to be able to have engines that have a tiny little reaction generating a lot of heat within them. Uh, similarly, you're not going to get an endothermic reaction to happen unless you put heat into it. So that's kind of one of the reasons why enthalpy is really important. We need to be able to predict and kind of adjust to how we're going to deal with exothermic and endothermic reactions. I'm Robin Higgins, and this has been The Importance of Enthalpy. Music